Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. I want to thank you for everything. You did the right thing back there. All things considered, without you back there, none of us would have survived. And luckily, you had a great hero behind you. But he chose to take his own life to save all of us. Like a true hero. <laughs> Just wish that I could have done something. Instead, I was tied up. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> he was my friend too. With everything that was happening, I didn't really treat him as a friend, like I should have. He was a good hero. It's good to have him in our memories, for what he did. He will always go down as one of the greats. You know this. And he doesn't want us to gravel over the fact that he's gone now. You know this better than I. I know it's hard. It's hard for a lot of us. Sarah did what he... <laughs> We, we shouldn't really, <sighs> I'm losing the words to tell you that everything's going to be fine. Sarah saved us all back there, it saved you, everyone. Without his sacrifice, none of us would have been standing here. He is a, he was a crazy son of a bitch. But, nonetheless, he is a hero. But that didn't really stop the villains in their plans. Of course, Sarah did stop their time machine, but when the explosion happened, I noticed there was cracks in the sky. Yes, cracks. It looked like as if something from a fantasy world. Look. Right there. Three cracks in the sky. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, just know we're going to be ready for it. Whatever comes out of those cracks in the sky, or even 
if anything comes out of the sky. We will fight them off in Saro's name. I know he cared about you. He said he loved you? You must be mourning hard then. Firecracker. I know this may not be the best time to say this. But I've known that Zero liked you for a long time. In the end, he did tell you his big secret. But... He wanted me to tell you something else. Zero left something for you. It's his necklace. His bead necklace. He always carries it around for good luck. He told me if he died at any time, he wanted me to bring you these beads. So we can always be by your side. Consider it a good luck charm for when you need it. His words, not mine. You're welcome. Not sure. It will take a little bit for Aizawa and Mike to recover. But I'm sure they'll be fine. For now, let's go back to UA. We have a lot of things to be doing. Lots of training. Lots of work. I'll make sure to tell Endeavor and Hawks to take it easy on you for a few weeks. Because of everything that happened. But for right now, let's head back, because I know you need rest. It's been a long day for all of us. You go ahead. I have a few words to say. Damn it. Why'd you have to be such an idiot? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> you could have done something besides sacrifice yourself for all of us. <laughs> I could have done something to stop all of this. I couldn't. I just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to see me moping around at your own grave. I have to be strong for everyone, for you. I'm gonna miss you, old friend. One of these days, I'll make sure everyone who's caused you harm knows 
that your heart still lives on within everyone. Sarah, my old friend, I will always keep you in my heart, no matter what. Those villains will pay. <laughs> <laughs>